my name is Shahid Bashir. In this video, I will tell you something about the population of the study. So, this section is usually based on four subsections that is, describing the tar target population, sampling frame, sampling technique and sampling size so again the basic rule we need to follow that is first to define the term and then to define why you are using this term and finally what is the actual target population of your study and surely you need to tell the audience why this is the good target population for your study so the first the first thing comes first there is target population okay the target population for a survey is the entire set of units for which the survey data are to be used to make interference so considering this purpose of study the very first thing we need to see is the scope of the study to define the target population so this was in this notes so where it was saying that this particular study was initially scoped for general consumers and then more precise for the e-business consumers and then the Malaysian e-business consumers and then the Facebook account holders and blah 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 so now all we need to do is based on the scope of the study we will define or in fact redefine the research purpose based on the scope of the study to examine the mediating role of trust in web vendor in the relationship between online shopping perceive risk and online shopping or uh, online purchase intention so now if this is a redefined purpose of the research based on the scope of the study so okay let me make it in the center this is fine so we will say this is Okay, if we go back there, here we defined for this study the target population was defined as Malaysian residents who are current users of the internet and who use internet to shop for products. So Okay, trust in web vendors in the relationship between online shopping, perceived risk, and online purchase intention in
Malaysia. Okay, I won't use this there. So because this this seems to be more fine. So I will take that statement. Malaysian residents. Residents. And put it there. Okay, so now this is our target population. So now what I just said earlier, there has to be a strong reason behind using this target population. So now one of the strong reason is just read that purpose statement again to examine the mediating role of trust in web vendors in the relationship between online shopping perceived risk and online purchase intention so the scope of study was related particularly to Malaysia so now what I've just said the target population are Malaysian residents who are current user users of the internet and who use internet to shop for products so according to Oxford dictionary because you know this term the residents that has to be defined more clearly so according to Oxford dictionary the term resident refers to a person who lives somewhere permanently on permanently or on a long-term basis okay so there is, there is a proper de definition so this definition so the definition however does not clarify the time length to become a resident nevertheless in this study the researcher precisely considered person who have lived in Malaysia at least for the past two years so we have defined our target population so the rest were not considered as part of this study for reasons such as their minimal Malaysian website shopping experience and the fact that they are less worthy trusters and infrequent purchasers so based on the research purpose or objective so we have a target population which is quite obvious in that case so research purpose research scope and then the target population of the study so now to move further it is written that it is too expensive and impractical in reality to use total population in this study therefore an appropriate sampling frame is identified next so now just read this purpose so this is a universal purpose so what is said here it is too expensive and impractical in reality to use the total population in this study so the total population can be the population from all over the world so in this way we, were, we would not be able to solve the entire issue so what we have decided we have decided to address this issue in the context of a particular target population and that is based on the scope of the study 